So what am I doing outside in the middle of the night? Well, we're going to do something very special and a little bit different. I have an LED replacement bulb. This is supposed to be the equivalent of a 1K bulb. And I happen to have a 500 here. My 1K burned out quite a while ago. But I basically can double my measurements one stop and that'll give me the equivalent. And they're going to go over into my desisty fixture over there. The C stands are spaced out at 5, 10, and 20 feet. And I set them up so that when I take my light meter and make a reading, I'm going to make a reading at exactly the same spot. And since we're outside at night, there are no walls to bounce anything around. We've got dark pavement here. So we're going to get a really honest reading of what this is actually putting out. And I suspect it's going to do pretty well. Is it going to measure up to this? Well, let's go find out. Now, this isn't my first shoot of this. I actually shot it a few weeks ago, and I didn't lose the card or anything. Nothing bad happened. I just got some very unexpected results, and before I put the video out, and people got into a little uproar or whatever because my results came out different than what the manufacturer claimed, I let the company take a look at the video. They gave me a couple of specific comments, and so tonight, I'm redoing my results. So first I'm going to show you my original test results with my straight Fresnel light that didn't have any of the changes that they recommended doing. Now the two changes that they recommended doing was one, removing the reflector, and two, adding one of their plastic Fresnel lenses and taking the glass one out. They said that doing both of those would increase the output. Let's go find out and check it out. Okay, so what did the light meter have to say about all this? Well, the answer and the results were uh, interesting and not quite what I expected. The 500 watt bulb actually put out an average of one and one third stops more light. Hmm. So there's no way that this LED puts out the equivalent of a 1K. It'll fit in a 1K fixture. It requires a 1K fixture to be physically compatible, but no, it's not putting out 1K worth of light. Okay, if you took a 1K and you put CTO on it to get it to 5200, and that's the version that I'm using is the 5200, okay, then they would be in the ballpark of each other, give or take a fraction of a stop. But even my straight 500 watt bulb here still averaged more light output. That said, this bulb still puts out a very healthy amount of power. So now that you had a look at those results, which, like I said, wasn't what I expected. I figured it might have been maybe a little bit less, but I didn't think they'd be that far off. Well, let's go take a look at the output of the modified light. So I'm going to install this lens, and I've already got the reflector out, and we're going to go take readings again at both flood and spot and see what we get. And something else I'd also like to point out, and that's that some manufacturers, when they rate the output of a light in the flood position or not full flood. This caught me by surprise and I didn't discover that until I read the really fine print in their tech specs where it said something to the effect of flood is 50% of spot. Well no, flood should be as wide as the thing goes. So there is some fudging with some manufacturer's specs where as long as the fine print is accurate their numbers jive but let's take a look and see how that goes. So after changing the lens out and removing the reflector, things did change. First of all, when I did the original test, yes, the LED did get hot and it actually throttled its output by about one third of a stop. So removing the reflector did in fact improve things. Changing the glass lens out for the plastic Fresnel was a little bit of a questionable move in my mind, but in turn actually worked. So while I didn't quite get to the output of a 1K, I definitely equaled or exceeded the output of a 500. I kind of fairly say that this was about a 750. That's still quite a bit of output for 5200K or 3200, considering that this light only pulls 150 watts. If I have to make a complaint, it's that they should just include the Fresnel lens as part of the LED bulb package because you really do need it to get the best output. Additionally, I did find that I got a nice clean shadow from the plastic lens. And that's not something that's been said of all plastic Fresnel lenses that have been put into LED Fresnels. These guys nailed it and got it right.
We're going to check one more thing out. They say that it'll work on a regular dimmer, so I'm going to go plug my little portable dimmer in and see what happens. The light's full up right now. I'm going to bring it down. That's on a real low setting. Just going to dial it up nice and slow and easy. I'm going to get it back on that case, so if there's any roll bars, we're going to see them. Okay, we're going to repeat this. Five hundredth of a second shutter. 24 frames, 24.00 frames. Okay, so should you buy this light? That's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make. If you're a busy working professional, then the price of this for a 5200K light source, um, it's pretty reasonable. It's not as powerful as I would have liked, but even still, it's going to have its uses. The fact that you can put it into a good quality light fixture with real barn doors, real focusing, and not some cheap Chinese housing, and the lights that you've had sitting in your garage collecting dust because you're not using them, can now be brought back to life. The dimming was also an, a great added bonus. I didn't see anything on the quick playback I did right here in the camera that indicated any flicker. Now, once we get it up on the big screen, and I'm going to have to check that out in a little bit, I'll let you know, and I may have put up a note indicating that, but just looking at the playback on the camera, at 500th of a second, it looked rock solid clean. So that's really impressive considering that I was doing that dimming on a cheap little wall dimmer that I picked up at a uh, discount store. So should you get one or a couple of these for your old lights? It depends. It's going to be up to budget and whether the benefits of these bulbs outweigh the price of this in terms of power, heat, portability, and other factors that you have to figure out when doing your normal jobs.